Hello, Plot of Policy. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we have the rankings after the April 22nd episode of SmackDown. But before we get into those officially, let's get into the results of the Go Home Show. We had Ronda Rousey defeat Charlotte Flair just two nights before their triple threat. Daddy Evil Miss Championship match at WrestleMania, which will include Rhea Ripley, and it will be a street fight. Shout out to Zero, the gaming kaiju, and also shout out to Son Froku and NJ Highways. I know all three of you guys are going to be winning for Rhea Ripley. Um, we had the Brawling Brutes and the Lucha Brothers go to a 20 minute time. In a 20-minute time limit draw for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, they will have a rematch at WrestleMania, which will be a two out of three falls match. We had Roman Reigns kick off the rivalry series with Okada with a win. We had Hiromu Takahashi decrease his um, decrease his deficit in the rivalry series between himself and the Tornado. It is now 8-9 to nine after their 2 out of 3 falls match. We had The Miz defeat Peter Williams in a WrestleMania Championship 2 out of 3 falls gauntlet series finals match, which means he will be competing for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on SmackDown. And Bobby Lashley will be joining him as he defeated Roman Reigns, AJ Styles, and The Rock in a fatal four-way elimination Match, which was another finals match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship Gauntlet Series. And so, for the rankings, we got the Undisputed Champion, Seth Rollins. We got the Intercontinental Champion, Penta L Zero Miedo. Got the SmackDown Tag Team Champs, Falling Brutes. And we got the Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. And now we got the rankings before the Intercontinental... Ah, we got the rankings before the Intercontinental Championship... We got Zachary Rentz at a 50, Brooks Jensen at a 68, and Nathan Frazier also at a 68. And then we got the Intercontinental Championship rankings. Not much changed. Uh, Matt Riddle did go up after um, his... Oh yeah, after... Wait, huh? Oh yeah, he interfered in the tag title match, I believe. Yeah, yeah, he... he, he he created a buzz after interfering in the tag title match. So, top five for the Intercontinental Championship. All right, fellows. At number five, Big E. At number four, Mysterio, both at 82. At number three, Matt Riddle. At number two, Carl Anderson. And at number one, Grayson Waller, all at an 83. Matt Riddle can definitely move up the rankings. If he wins the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown. I mean, on WrestleMania, sorry. Or Mysterio. Um, shout out to um, the homie RJ. I know you're going to be winning. I know you're going to be rooting for Rey Mysterio Heavy in that match. And then we've got the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Um, nothing changed. Top top four on this period era, New Day, Good Brothers, and the Lucha Brothers went up a few points, well, half a point, after their um, tag team title tie. <laughs> and then we got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and um, we had quite a few changes. Um, NATO got injured, so him and Takahashi's um, rivalry will be ending at Backlash. And he went down a few after his loss. Um, Bobby Lashley went up a bunch. Pete Dunn went up a bunch. Uh, Sheamus went up one. Styles, um, went up a point. And Reigns went, oh, Reigns went down. After his, wait. Yeah, Reigns went down. So yeah, Reigns, yeah, Reigns went down. Um, I think they're going to have short. I'm not sure. So, the top five are as follows. At number five, Drew McIntyre, 92. At number four, The Rock. Also at a 92, shout out to Doi, Loopy, and TT Burger, 88. 
Um, at number three, Roman Reigns. At number two, Brock Lesnar. At number one, Kenny Omega. Uh, shout out to Quintiverse. I know you're a big Kenny fan. Oh, and as real darkness sixty four. <laughs> and um, I forgot to shout out Quintiverse. I know you are always mentioning the Intercontinental Championship in the comments. And I forgot to bring that up while I was um doing the rankings. So shout out to um you for that and I hope you enjoy the triple threat title match at WrestleMania. And now for the WWE Women's Championship, um not much change. Ronda Rousey did go up a few points after her win against Charlotte Flair. Top five uh, follows at number five. We have Ripley at an eighty two at number four Oscar. At 83, at number 3, Carmella at 84. At number 2, Bianca Belair at 86. At number 1, Ronda Rousey at 91. 